The first dish we're going to do is uh, we call it pure potato salad. For me, it's one of the most amazing dishes there are. It's very, very simple. It's one of the dishes that really symbolizes the kind of food that we are cooking. We are doing like a single product dishes and we're really giving it the whole stage. So really taking the best products we can find with the best flavor and just giving them the stage, letting them uh, state out their own flavor and characteristics. Potatoes uh, we are using here in, uh, in Melbourne are Nicola potatoes. These are the potatoes that I found very, very tasty. And these are the ones that I chose to use. They are yellow potatoes, a bit starchy, and they're perfect for this beautiful potato salad. Um, so we're gonna start by cooking the potatoes. I try to choose even size of potatoes, so they'll cook evenly at the same time they'll all be ready. Um, I'll just put them in a pot, cover it with water about five, six centimeters above the top level of the potatoes, and I put quite a lot of salt inside. So a few important things. First of all, the potatoes are cooked inside their skin for a few reasons. First of all, it keeps the shape of the potato, so it'll keep it intact, and it also a little bit prevents the water from penetrating the flesh of the potato, something that will eventually dilute the flavor of the potato. I put them in the pot, I cover it with water, as I said, and I put quite a lot of salt. The most important part of the seasoning is during the cooking. The amount, if you put the exact amount of seasoning at this stage, this is the best way of seasoning a vegetable in this very preliminary process. It kind of uh, gives the right balance to the flavor of the potato itself rather than adding more salt later on. So um, in this stage, I'll cook the potatoes, put, cover them with water, add salt, bring it to a boil, then lower the flame down to simmering and keep cooking only when the potatoes are simmering. It's not good to boil potatoes because what happens if you keep it boiling? They're jumping around the pot, they are breaking, water are penetrating inside and again the whole skin thing so they are diluting the flavor and they are not cooking consistently so the outer uh, perimeter of the flesh will cook faster than the inside the core of the potato so just on simmer and you cook it until the potatoes are ready best way to check it is I take a small paring knife and I just push it into potato if it goes in smoothly and comes out smoothly it means the potatoes are ready alright so once the potatoes have cooled down to room temperature I can go ahead and peel them alright so two options of doing it, either you actually cut through the skin with a knife or another easy way to do it is just use your knife to peel the skin off, it'll come off fairly easy and when the potatoes are kind of room temperature or warm they are much easier to peel rather than if they've been cooled in the fridge. This is a very simple salad, the only ingredients we have in it is the, is the potato, some red onion, dill, olive oil, salt and a little bit of vinegar. Okay, the vinegar I'm going to use is a white wine vinegar. As in everything else we're doing, the better quality ingredients you use, the better end result you'll be getting at the end. The salt that we are using also, important to say a word about it, it's Atlantic sea salt. Okay, it's called also grey salt. It's a very very tasty salt, it has a lot of mineral flavor to it and this is the one we use for all our cooking, so coarse salt, grey salt, Atlantic sea salt. That's the one we're using. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the potatoes. And what I want to do is I want to get, again, kind of equal size of uh, uh, pieces. And I want them to be relatively big chunks, but not too big. All right, and the size is super important in this salad because if you make it too small, they'll just break into the salad when you start mixing it. And if it's uh, too big, the seasoning will not really uh, be good, will not be balanced with the size of the potato. So the size I'm aiming for is about this. And you can see I'm trying to cut uneven shapes. All right, this is part of the charm and beauty of this salad. I gently place all the potatoes inside. Now I'm gonna need to peel one red onion and I do rings. Try to get it a little bit thin because you don't want the flavor of the onion to overpower the flavor of the potato. All of these things, both the red onion and the dill are just kind of backing up the flavor of the potato. So that's about it. For this quantity, I put about a quarter of an onion. All right, so for the dill itself, I just need to separate a few leaves. I just break it into the salad itself. 
and then all that's left to do is the seasoning all right so this is about the right proportion that i have here these are the potatoes and the dill and the onion as i said just to add and back up the flavor of the potatoes so as for the seasoning salt okay again quite important the amount of salt it's gonna feel like it's gonna be a little bit too much but again because the pieces are big we need to give it a little bit extra flavor olive oil i put about three tablespoons of olive oil and about one tablespoon of vinegar as i mix it up a little bit you want to get all the flavor blended together i kind of rub the salt to the potatoes without breaking them too much place it on a plate this is the pure potato salad very simple to make at home very few ingredients but very very flavorful 